So here's a picture of one of my lovely clients and I want you to take a look at the top of it and you can see she has a really nice strong movement on the top of her head and the front of her face. Most of the time we call this the money shot. It's an important shot because it's the client's favorite piece because that's what they see in the mirror and it makes a big difference and it's important to get it right. So I'm gonna show you how to achieve this and we're going to do that with my faceting balayage technique. So I'm going to take my comb and wherever the client's part is, you wanna think about uh, where that is going to fall and that's going to be one side of the facet. Then we're going to use the front as another side of the facet. I'm gonna carve out a triangular shape in order to create that strong movement of balayage. I'm gonna clip this up and out of the way. The larger the facet, the softer the effect. The smaller the facet, the more intense the effect. So depending on the size, you're going to get a different result. The inner part of the facet on the interior is a pocket of depth and that's going to stay intact. That way you get that nice softness on the interior and it's gonna help make that color stay really modern and not overly old school chunky. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this. I'm using our textured gloves. They're amazing because they have a beautiful textured surface. They're really great for balayage because the surface is all over them. So if you need to mix your balayage on the fly, you can use the back of your hand, making your hand the tool. So I'm gonna hold this this way into gravity and I'm going to get my brush, which already has balayage uh, lightener mixed up on it. I'm holding it nice and rigid. And I'm going to come in and I'm gonna tap the color in. I like to get a nice coating on the surface first, and then I decide kind of how close to the scalp I want that to be, and then I get really gentle with my pressure. You don't want to pull it all the way through the hair string because you're still working on it. I'm going to kind of release it a little bit and then I'm going to kind of do the shimmity sham, the technical term I have created, to kind of move the hair strand up in a different direction. Loading up my brush again, now I'm coming to do this side of my facet. Facets are used in gem cutting to optimize light reflection within the stone and I have designed this technique to help you get optimal light reflection in your balayage work hence the faceting balayage title. Now in this instance, I'm going to do each side. So again, I'm gonna do the shimmy sham and I'm moving this up so I can get on the underneath of my facet. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna paint this side. Now you can see I didn't pull it all the way through yet because I still wanna have control of my hair strand. And at this point, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to take my fingers and I'm gonna do a little pinching action so that I can kind of bring that in and I'm pushing the lightener into the center of the facet and that is going to help make stronger movements of color on each of the corners of the facet. In the felt form here, you can see that each corner has a line coming into the center and that is to show that each corner has been pinched. If you study this with me at any point in time, you'll learn that there's different ways to do this and there's also different times that you may not want to pinch every corner. That's getting you to come see me some other time. So I'm going to come in and you want to make sure you reapply on each corner and as I move my hands down the hair strand, I'm going to complete the lightener through. Now once you pinch the lightener in, you want to make sure that you reapply on the corners because if there's no lightener there, there will be no light. So coming through and then I'm going to kind of figure where I'm going to join this all together because the ends should be uber saturated with the lightener solution. I'm going to come through, continue the application and work my way through. I'm using my favorite brush from Product Club. This is our, our feather brush and I use it for my balayage most of the time though I am madly in love with our new paint brush that's pretty fat. And then I'm just going to release this. Now I just want to inform you that directional placement is so important and if you look at this you can see that each area that I am using is covered. So I've got the part area and the back and the front and then they come together. If you're going to try this yourself on anywhere else in the head, remember directional placement is paramount. So if I place this on the side of the head, then I'm going to get a diagonal back, a diagonal down also, but it's almost horizontal, and a diagonal forward. 
So a way to get a lot of movement really quickly is by utilizing my fastening balayage technique. I hope that gives you a little something to look forward to. It's great for the money shot. Give it a whirl.